With Rockstar recently releasing a new update for GTA it comes with some hype around it, but this update may be the worst update they've released, but that's actually a good thing. Now before I explain why that is, I'm going to explain why I think this is the worst update in GTA Online. First of all, if you like this update, more power to you, but this is just my personal opinion. What better way to start it than talking about the bottom dollar bounty business itself? First of all, can Janet please shut the fuck up and let me do the missions? Okay, this guy arrested for embezzling, but it turns out he owes half the city. Shut the fuck up! Why do we need an introduction every time I want to start a mission? Like maybe explain it once or twice, but why every time I want to start a mission? Do I need to hear the same explanation? Also the missions are boring as fuck, and I'll basically go to this location, take out these guys, capture this guy, and go back to the office. Quite boring after a while and the payout does not make it worth it, with the highest payout being 100k. It's not the worst business, but it's a business you would run if you were bored of doing like crates. Even with that, the missions are probably worse than the crate ones. Now let's talk about the rest of the update. They added some new cars to the game and I don't think any of them look good, they're just mid. And fucking hell, the prices of the new cop cars, what makes them so expensive? If you wanted to buy all the new cop cars, it's a combined of 14.6 million. Or if you have the trade-in price then it's 11 million. I know money in GTA isn't really a problem anymore with the amount of businesses in the game or people having a modded account, but still paying 14.6 million for 3 basic cars is a bit much. Other than that I don't have much to say but the new cars are just kinda mid. I think an update can be considered good if the missions aren't the best, but the vehicles are good, but not even the vehicles can save this update. With the Mercenaries update, the missions weren't good, but they added some great vehicles such as the Raiju Jet and the GTO Stinger TT. And with the drug wars, they added the acid lab, which is a good business to make money. Rockstar have added a new feature that allows you to collect money from your businesses, like money that would be in your safe, which is a brilliant idea. But Rockstar tried to squeeze every last penny out of this game, it's locked behind a fucking paywall. You need to buy GTA Plus to use this feature. Yeah, GTA Plus. Why do I need to pay £5 a month to collect money from my businesses faster than going to each one of them and doing it manually? I do see the benefits of GTA Plus for like new players, but to people that have played the game for years like me, GTA Plus is pretty useless. Like I don't really care about the free cars and the 500k a month. There is two good features they added which are actually good. Snacks automatically get replenished when starting up a mission which is a good feature to add and it's actually helpful. And the other one is the cop car walk. These missions are actually quite good and the pair is 20k and they're really simple to do. With this update being probably the worst, it's actually a good thing as GTA 5 is coming to an end soon and Rockstar putting less effort into these updates. That means they are putting most of their effort into GTA 6. GTA 5 has a maximum of 2 or 3 updates left before GTA 6 comes out, so I wouldn't expect any good updates now. Maybe the last update will be a big one for GTA 5's send off, but the rest probably won't be. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up here. Sorry I was gone for a month, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should. I said I was gonna take a month off to find motivation to post GTA content again. Since then I'm motivated and I have three other videos already recorded and edited, so they should be coming out in the next few days. But thank you all for watching and have a good day.